Hello guys, welcome back to Nerdy Books. This is the ultimate Christmas special, but we'll be having another Christmas special this 23rd. I know I forgot to read the story for you guys, but you can check out my Instagram because I read Charlie Brown Christmas. I was going to find it again to read to you guys, but apparently I couldn't find it. So, we're going to re review about books and stores. You should shop to because it's only close till... Christmas, so, yeah. So, this is a book by John Green. You may know him from Fault in Our Stars. It's called Let It Snow. It's a good holiday book to read. Also, too, for any of you teenagers, so you can read it on Christmas Eve at night when you go to bed to open up your gifts in the morning. So, if you want to think about getting more into the holidays, this is a good book to read. I always read this just to get myself excited. And it's super good. Um, it's definitely romantic, too. Very romantic. Um, if any of you ladies love that, it's wonderful and it's amazing. So, just want to give you a little heads up about this book. You could get it on Barnes Noble, you could go on Amazon. Or you could search it on eBay, or any, or, yeah, half bu half price books. They will have this this book. And for the decorations, if you do not have enough time with your decorations, too, you can always do it before December or after. So for me, I did it traditionally. And also, too, if you want to add a little snow globe to it, like add a little nice nativity scene, it's really good. And if you ever want, if you ever want to bake for the first time, too, I suggest you should do is making, make a dip, a, des a dessert dip. Um... Try to make, like, there's hot cocoa, look on Pinterest, hot cocoa dip, um, candy cane dip, uh, gingerbread dip, so it's, like, so good. Yeah. And it's, it, it's amazing, too, I, I have to admit. And also, too, the very good Christmas movies you should definitely watch is, um, you should definitely watch Deck the Halls. Oh my god, I love Deck the Halls. Fred Claus, I love that. If you ever have a Santa Claus as a brother, I suggest you should watch this movie. Um, is there anything else? No. Oh, one of those claymation movies. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, that's a really good movie. And a year without Santa Claus. When you when you get the year without Santa Claus on DVD, you have a couple of um, Rudolph Shines New Year's. I always watch that on New Year's. That's my suggestion for you guys. If you have a New Year's Eve movie, you watch Happy New Year or New Year's Eve, and also Rudolph Shines New Year's. Those are like the two I would pick for a New Year's movie. Like, before New Year's. Um. Oh, Nestor hat or Nestor's, um, adventure on Year Without Santa Claus. But it, it tells about a nativity story, how Mary gave birth to Jesus. So it's very neat and very know the details. And there was, like, this movie, too, that's actually based on it. It's called The Nativity Story. If some of you guys are, like, Catholic, um... You should probably go and watch that movie. I suggest it's really good to watch. I always love it. I, I truly do love it. I love how when the baby is born on Christmas Day, so that's what I love. And the really good movies are to the, um, there's another one, um, that's a funny one. How the Grinch She Stole Christmas. That's a really good one that I love. Um, Jim Carrey makes it really good. The cartoon, I loved it. I loved both of them. So it's very amazing. It's really amazing. So I really do enjoy it. 
Um, also, to the stores, to if any of you, um, my fellow aliens are in the hot topic, think geek, um, or if you're ever in a convention too, you can always get a, give someone a present in the convention so they don't feel like they will definitely love it. So this is hot topic. As you can see, they have a new collection called the Fan Fantastic Beast Collection, and let me tell you, it's very unique. I suggest you should um, look on it online, and they have the Harry Potter. See if some of you guys are Harry Potter fans with the Fantastic Beast. And here's our other clothing lines. And go on hottopic.com. It's very interesting. Um, and also check out Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightmare Before Christmas is such a good movie. But if your friend is a big fan of Tim Burton, go for the Nightmare Before Christmas collection. It's very neat. And if some of you guys are into Pokemon, go on. Uh, you, could, you could always do a Pokemon collection that are Pokemon fans. And anything anime. And if some of you, or if all of you guys are a huge fan of Doctor Who or Supernatural, I suggest you should get a Hot Topic. And also Think Geek. Think Geek has very neat stuff. And also too, they have all different types of cosplays, even Hot Topic too. Because the reason why I do cosplay too is just trying to educate kids. So it's like very neat for them. Um... You can tell the reason why I have an alien on here. I actually went to Steel City Con um, on Sunday. And oh my god, I am in heaven. This is who I met. Um, the girl from Teeny Ninja Turtles, the original. I met April. And she's like, to Maria from Judith XO from April O'Neil I'm in love so I met her so she was very interesting and I love her so much so if you ever see me on YouTube um Judith this is my shout out for you and I want to wish you Merry Christmas so if any of you turtle fans want to meet her you'll see her in convention she's super sweet super sweet and I enjoyed her. She's amazing on Halloween Town, but this is my favorites. I you know, and I told her I'm a huge fan of this guy right here. Leonardo. And also too, that just reminded me, guys. Check out my stories on my Instagram. It's called The Alien the Turtle. You must read the first part of it first because once you get to know about the rest, there's gonna be more love and more intense into it. Um, if you ever need any questions, leave a comment below or subscribe or you can click and subscribe and leave a question below because I would definitely love to hear that. Um, also too, I'll be in Teco too, so it's going to be so fun on 2017 getting ready for Teco. Oh! Going to an anime con. <laughs> also to you guys, you could meet me there. To you, I would love to meet you guys. If you ever need any questions and stuff, give me a hug or something. If you if you ever want to enjoy how to be a cosplayer, of course it's amazing. I know, right? Um. So yeah, it's very interesting. Um. And you know what's good too when you're when you're actually like when you're doing. When, when you're doing cosplay stuff, you follow your ways. So, like, I started, I started being a cosplayer around 16. When I first started nerdy books. Yeah. Yeah, nerdy books was in, I was 16 to do it. Um, yeah, I, I was more into that. I actually got into that so quickly because it's very interesting. 
because it's good to be on the nerd or like good to be on the cosplay side because you know you'll you know what you're doing. You're just helping like people to educate and actually help. So I really love it, and I enjoy it. So yeah, I really love the holidays. It's cool, and I love cosplaying. I know, it's so very interesting. Um. <laughs> um. Oh yeah. I already did tell you guys on the 23rd. On the 23rd, you're actually going to be, well, it's going to be on Nerdy Books. You're actually going to be on, la, or on, wait, on, at my work, and you're going to meet my boss, Mandy, and she's bringing her monkey in named Elsa. <sighs> so amazing! It's super amazing, and I love my people down there where I work with, so I want to give a shout out to them. Mwah. Love you guys. Mwah. Yeah, so that's awesome. I just got to enjoy the holidays. And also to you guys, always, if you have kids, you must read them A Charlie Brown Christmas or A Nightmare Before Christmas. You name it, just give them the Christmas spirit. And also, too, the, since it's almost close to Christmas, I suggest you should guys go see the lights. Here in Pittsburgh, we have the Overly Lights, we have Ogilvy, um, we have Kennywood Light Up Night. Really good. And also, downtown in Market Square, it's really good. If some people that are not actually from Pittsburgh, I suggest you should come down here for the holidays. It's very interesting. Um, you get that country feeling. Yeah, that really good country feeling, what you always need. So it's like very interesting so far. Um, and we'll, we'll have a blast. And also I'll be shooting, um, Nerdy Books will be on Christmas Eve too. I would not video, the, I'm not going to video the church because I don't want my priest to be mad at me. So... Um, you're actually going to see my whole family at my Uncle Milky's house, and we're going to ask more questions, or we're going to, we're going to get into the Christmas spirit, so, it's going to be so cool. So, make sure you watch the 23rd show, and make sure you watch the Christmas Eve show, too, so I want to give it a little shout out for you guys, just letting you know. Um, and also the Christmas Day. Christmas Day, I'll be going to see movie. But I don't know what movie yet, so we'll let you know because we'll be doing a review on it. Probably Monday? Probably Monday. I'm not sure yet because I'm still organizing things. So I just want to say to you, love you. Happy holiday, guys. From Nerdy Books, I'm your host, Maria. YOLO. YOHO. The Force be with you. And also, too, if you guys are Star Wars fans, I suggest you should go see Rogue One. I haven't seen it yet, but you guys should go see it. So, enjoy! Mwah. Bye! Merry Christmas to all and to all. May the Force be with you. Yeah, as you can see, I'm waving my hands. And also, too, this is my pet. This alien right here, his name is Larry, so he's cool. <laughs> Good, Larry. <laughs> Bye, guys. Mwah. Merry Christmas. Joy to the world. Peace on Earth.